everyone, thanks for stopping by the Standards Weekly Check-In. I'm Colin, behind the camera we got Dylan. What's up? Today we're going to be going over some staff picks, uh, flipping through some new arrivals and recently priced records, and addressing the burning questions from the YouTube comments section last week. We did take a week off. It's Donkey Kong December. Forgive us. As always, if you see anything you like, hit the DMs on Instagram, give the shop a ring, or just cruise in. We're open 11 to 8, 7 days a week. And uh, we'll just, we'll get it out of the way, okay? We'll dress the elephant in the room in the new shoes. Time to make a change, what can I say? All right, what's your, what are you listening to today, Dylan? Uh, all day other than Exodus is uh, yeah. by Blood. This, uh, I never know how to say it. The chi -lights. Chi -lights? I chi -lights? Like chi lights but I don't know if that's the right way to say it. I, I, always, saw it, I always read it as Chi Lights, but okay. I don't know why. Chi Lights, I'm sure it's the right way. A letter to myself. Mm -hmm. uh, just a nice... Uh, a compilation album, right? Is it? I think so. Euro, Euro pressing. I could be wrong. I don't, I'm, I'm not. I'm not always 100 sure. Right. With these kind of records, <laughs> but um, you know, just nice. There's a lot of Southern Tim songs, mm -hmm. but they're all hits. It's yeah. not like you've never heard those songs before. Yeah. Stellar group. Always a good time. Yeah. I got. Uh, I got. Uh, my my pick is not a record that's in the store because we don't have any of the records. But I think everyone needs to listen to Angelic Upstarts a little bit this week. Uh, the first two albums, or. Um, or a singles collection, they're early stuff, 70s stuff, whatever, gets the job done. Uh, rest in peace, Mency, lost a legend. Uh, they're, they're a band, I feel like they don't get their due. Kind of fall through the cracks almost, you know? In a weird way, they're almost like too, uh, they're not like macho enough for the whole skinhead thing, they're not like rock and roll enough for punker guys. They're like right in the middle of waves, kinda, you know what I mean? I don't know, maybe I'm crazy, but they're, they're a band that's easy to fall through the cracks. We're gonna we're gonna alleviate that. Everyone's gonna listen to uh, Angelic Upstarts this week. Okay, pay our respects to the man. Shall we uh, flip through some records? All right. All right. You know what I want to watch? What's that? Disney Channel movies. Lacey's a regular high school girl with. Except here's the thing: she's invisible. Oh, she's best friend with Jordan. And he's a guy. Jordan uh -huh. is actually gonna go out right. as a girl, but she's not some regular girl. Okay. She happens to be the president's daughter. Oh my god! And and Lacey yes. is now best friends with the president's daughter, who has to keep the secret uh -huh. that the president is really a caveman. <laughs> And not only is the president a caveman, he's a hologram. <laughs> and this would be fine if he didn't need to get his daughter, who is also a hologram, uh -huh. on the cheerleading team. <laughs> but little does the president caveman hologram know that his daughter has ambitions to be a race car driver. Yeah. <laughs> Can she use her boyfriend's friend's invisibility to get in the racing team, which, and here's the problem, uh -huh. all the racers on the team are wolves. <laughs> <laughs> and everyone on the cheerleading squad are Irish. <laughs> Yeah, and they're leprechauns and uh, <laughs> And yeah. so she has stumbled into the realm of magic. Jordan the guy also right. finds out he's a mermaid. <laughs> Can he balance having a girlfriend who's the president caveman hologram's daughter? <laughs> who is being forced to get on this cheerleading team of leprechauns oh, yeah. so that they can beat the rival school's team of werewolves. <laughs> When her real heart is to be on the racing team with bitches all wolves, regular wolves. It's not that far from these Yeah, no, movies. These, these movies are good. It doesn't seem hard. It's just weird. regular high school student. Yes. Something is weird. Like, like it's Battle of the Bands, but your band is all robots. Yeah, or your mom met a new boyfriend. Uh-huh. He's Dracula. <laughs> <laughs> Which is a true one. I, I like that one a lot. The Leprechaun one is true. It's called Luck of the Irish. No, that's not real. There, there's a guy that plays basketball and he's like, why am I like three inches tall all of a sudden? He's like, oh, well, you're Irish. That's the whole movie. Yeah, see, that is on shuffle. This channel made a generation of people dumb. Look how I turned out. I'm good. Yeah, fair enough. You raise a valid point. <laughs> YouTube questions, a part of the video where we answer the questions left in the YouTube comments section from last week's video. First off, Alex is coming out the gate talking about the complications and, you know, finding new band names. Some of the more silly ones that come up. He gives a shout out to Witch Vomit. He asks for uh, some of our uh, favorite recent ones. I got, a, I got a real one for you. You ready? Perverted Ceremony. 
Nice. I like it. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like a, a goat penis is forever the one to beat. <laughs> You'll never out silly that name. Uh, out silly? Out silly? Out silly. You'll never out silly goat penis. Um, I mean, I don't know. Maybe they're serious. But uh, makes me smile every time. I every time I get the record or restock goat penis. <laughs> There's a guy that I'm pretty sure has seen Goat Penis, the band. See, it makes you laugh every time. The band. It's joy. It's all joy. Uh, no. I mean, like, I can't think of a good band name of the last decade, at least. A good one. Can't think of a silly one. Silly one? Vile reality. A good one? Mm-hmm. It's fucking impossible to think about. I don't know. They're all, they're all gone. They're, they're all taken. Oh. Props to any band that isn't doesn't have uh, violent in the name. <laughs> that was way too common for a while. Yeah. It's like little trends. Now it's like one syllable words. Yeah. Three, four letters just like hit. Run. Man. Kid. <laughs> yeah. I, I get if you can buck that, you're all right. Yeah. In my book. Yeah. And uh, Bo Tiger is chiming in asking about our. Uh, Worst example of grave robbing releases is in like posthumous releases. I'll tell you, man, this is a hard thing to say because I have such mixed feelings about it. I feel the post uh, Prince releases have been odd. Hmm. Like, even when I like them, like that original album that had like uh, all of his versions of songs he wrote for other people, that's really cool. But it just morally didn't sit well with me. Like, ah, I don't think he wanted me to listen to this stuff. <laughs> it's like, uh,. The guy with the most amount of stuff, like sitting in the archives, mm -hmm. is the guy I'm weirdest about. Listening uh, to yeah, it's moral. Like I can't shake it. Yeah. Yeah, I'm never listening to it with a clear conscience. You know. You didn't want us to listen to it. I know. That's my take. Yeah. That's my take. I don't know if that's the worst example, but it's an example. It makes me feel odd. I feel it. Uh huh. I can't think of any. Uh, I will say. Yes. And I didn't think about it till it was brought up to me the other day, last week. Uh huh. Um, our homie R2 yes. was like looking through the the new uh, Fat Beat stuff right? and he's like I was like oh you're not going to buy any of that Dilla stuff he's like I don't buy post death Dilla yeah and I was like okay fair enough he's like mostly it's just unfinished but right. whatever you know why would you buy it yeah oh, res fair respect yeah and yeah. That, I, that's the only thing I could think of and I guess I never really think about stuff like that yeah. or that way I know so, it's uh, weird it's yeah. dirty I don't like it yeah anyways and on a lighter note, uh, D Void is asking about. We're, we're talking Christmas movies, you know. Tis the season, right? Mm -hmm. He's bringing up Jingle All the Way, Krampus. What's your? What do you got? What do you got? What's your? What do you got? What like favorite? Best Christmas, Christmas movies. Best, uh, best. Favorite. All right, we got De Silent Night, Deadly Night, one and two. Okay. okay. Then we got the Should Christmas Story, out. just the original one. Um, you joke, but I'm uh, I'm I, I stand. Yeah, I like no, I, I'm being serious. Yeah, I think I like a, Christmas story. I think Christmas story. I went through a really heavy Christmas story phase. Here's a here's a you want to want to hear some like you're a '90s guy. Go ahead. Every TBS every December. I uh, recorded from the TV with like a mic on my like, my Apple computer uh -huh. in like 1995. Uh -huh. The the not a finger that line. <laughs> yeah. I thought that was the funniest thing ever. So my alert, like anytime, like you click something and it was like, "Dun, not a finger." <laughs> You're crazy. So yeah, I, I stay at Christmas story. Anyways, keep going. Uh, uh, I might. Be, uh, it's only one. Just so those two dead yeah. silence and no, uh, silent night, deadly. Night. Silent night, deadly. Night. Two specifically two for specifically. Uh, garbage day. No. <laughs> yeah. Um. Christmas Story, the uh, the 2000 and I guess four. I'm a, I can't remember. I think it's 2004. Uh -huh. Remake of Black Friday or a uh, Black Christmas. Black Christmas. There you go. I don't know why. Black Friday is a, a different that, horror a story movie. altogether. Yeah. Sorry. I'm shopping. Yeah. It didn't work out. Well. There's too many discounts, and they wouldn't allow me to get this thing. It's <laughs> the whole true horror story. Yeah, it is true yeah. horror story. Uh, no, uh, Black Christmas. Uh, the 2004 remake, though, because I haven't seen the newer remake, uh -huh. but the 2004 one's really funny. Especially when you watch the trailer for it. I really hate hearing the phrase newer remake, but go on. Yeah, there's like three remakes yeah. of that. <laughs> I'll tell you, you missed um, number one with a bullet, baby. Go. Gremlins. 
Oh, yeah. oh Die Hard? I'm just kidding. Yeah, yeah no, Gremlins no. is a good one. Yeah, there's no top in that. <sighs> See, yeah, you have to be a good movie regardless of if it's Christmas related. Yeah. It has to be able to stand on its own. Yeah. I can watch Christmas Story all year round. Yeah. All right. Like, I'm trying to think of another... There's one that's in my head, but I can't remember what happens. Is it a Disney Channel movie? That's where the thing, I don't remember. <laughs> girl is a mummy and she's trying to uh, make trying a to buy a Christmas team. gift for, so she could die in peace. <laughs> Thanks for watching, everyone. As always, uh, if you want to see any questions answered, leave it in the YouTube comments below. We'll address it next week. Thanks, everyone. Bye. Dirty. I don't like it.